Welcome, as Giantina takes you once again on another journey to Trieste, Italy. A most beautiful city and historic seaport located on the extreme northeastern edge of Italy. Giantina Fiera, host of Carpe Diem TV, shares with you her favorite experiences from her travels abroad. Bringing Europe to the USA and the USA to Europe. Come join us as Giantina welcomes you once again on a most intriguing and fascinating journey to the beautiful and historic city of Trieste, Italy. Meeting interesting people from around the world. Treating her audiences to a lifestyle of enlightening grandeur and elegance. Communicating how beautiful life is. Trieste. A narrow strip of land situated between the blue waters of the Adriatic Sea at the head of the Gulf of Trieste. And to the north, south and east, it shares its Italian borders with the Republic of Slovenia. A unique city with endless panoramas, any one of which are more than capable to take away the breath of even the most seasoned traveller. But not only are the views of Trieste more than magnificent, the city itself is deeply rich in history and culture, found nowhere else in all of Italy. Currently one of Europe's most important ports, the city has expanded its commercial shipping over the years and is now one of the greatest coffee ports in all Europe, supplying more than 40% of all of Italy's coffee. Trieste, although now a major centre in the European Union for trade, politics, culture, shipbuilding, education, transportation and commerce. This historical city still surrounds you with its ancient history and tradition. The ruins of a first century Roman theatre can be viewed right from the street. And it is here, in this wonderful city, free from the economic trademarks of the Western world, that John Tina Fiera brings to you some of the most interesting people and places you will ever hope to find. She visits the mayor of Trieste, Roberto di Piazza, who warmly welcomed John Tina to this lovely city. Eddie Cante from Cante Winery fame. Benjamin Ziderich from the beautiful Ziderich Winery. Princess Veronique della Torre Atasso from the Castello di Duino, who gave John Tina a personal interview and a tour of the historic castle of Duino. The castle of Miramare, where John Tina takes you on a grand tour. The beautifully restored Savoia Excelsior Palace Hotel in downtown Trieste. Come now. And in this program, join John Tina Fiera for an interview with famous crime novelist living in Trieste, Veit Heineken. And join them for a cup of coffee in Trieste's oldest coffee house, the Tomaseo. You will then tour another famous coffee house, the San Marco. And finally, you will receive a special presentation by Mr. Mario Suban of the Antica Trattoria Suban one of the finest family-owned restaurants in all of Italy since 1865. Welcome now to the beautiful land of Trieste, Italy. in Trieste and next to me is Mr. Veit Heineken, a very famous writer in Trieste and welcome to the Carpe Diem show. Thank you and very much. Tell me something about your books. You wrote several books about Trieste. Why Trieste? <laughs> Why Trieste? It's Europe. It's here on the Piazza d'Unità dell'Italia. It's a very famous place and with the whole with the old buildings and it's the crossing point of Europe mm -hmm. because it's the harbor most at the north of the Adriatic and of the Mediterranean world and so it's also the meeting point from the Mediterranean world with the North European 
world, or the east and the west, with looking from the old place from the west to the Balkanies, right. to the ex-Yugoslavian territory. And so we have also the sea and the mountains. You can find everything here. You have the tastes, because all these immigrations, and you yes. find it in the kitchen, in the cuisine, because everyone who immigrates lets his traces in the dialect or in the things to taste. And that's very, very rich. And also, Trieste is a very famous place for the coffee. In every sense, because all the over 90 Vietnamese immigrated to Trieste, brought something, taste. Right. And a lot of these famous families concentrated it for, on the importation of coffee and the working on coffee. So we have a very, very rich coffee house culture, but also the production of famous marks, or famous espresso marks. And the whole industry is here, so that we can say it's the second port in whole Europe for the working and for uh, the importation of coffee. coffee and you will see it on the nice coffee houses we have in Trieste right. uh, full plenty full of atmosphere and literature also yes you have here several old coffee houses like Tomaseo Spacey and, and San, San Marco, Marco and a lot of others. A so lot of come to Trieste, taste the coffee, taste the products from this region because you have also to discover the smell of Europe here. Right. So let's go to one of the coffee houses and have a cup of coffee together. Uh, have a cup, that? a good espresso. And a good espresso. Near the famous Piazza Unita d'Italia, in one of the most prestigious areas of all Trieste, lies the oldest coffee house in the city, Café Tomaseo. Situated in an area once known as the Shopkeeper's Square, the café was originally restored by Thomas Marcato from Padua, assuming at the time the name of Thomas Coffee. And per local archives, purchase contract of 29th of September 1830 included one Countess Lipomana, a pseudonym for none other than Caroline Bonaparte, the younger sister of Napoleon I of France and the wife of one of her brother's generals, Joachim Moura. The café was completely redecorated by painter Giuseppe Gatteri in complete splendor and covered some of the walls with mirrors specifically shipped from Belgium. But it wasn't until 1848 that the name Café Tomaseo was formally taken in honor of Niccolò Tomaseo, a famous writer, patriot and outspoken defender for our holy free press. Having long been a privileged meeting place for artists, businessmen, politicians and dreamers alike, even now, nearly 175 years later, one can step through time and settle himself upon the gentle contours of the same bentwood chairs, can keenly peer into the same Belgian mirrors like so many others of times gone past, and possibly still hear those whispered conversations of so long ago. And all the while, enjoying the same wondrous cup of Italian coffee in all its splendor that has long been its staple since its very inception. Café Tomaseo. It's a pleasure, Shantina, to bring you to Trieste and to show you also these places. This is the eldest coffee house of Trieste. It's from 1830. Right. And also, this kind of cafes were very important in the past, but also in this, in this period for having social contacts, uh, make contact with other people, of with uh, colleagues, writers, painters, and uh, have a good time here. It's always been a meeting point, a coffee house, no? Like uh, commercials who had to deal something, or other persons, grazie. Uh, who change secrets which shouldn't be heard by others or also of course Shantina for flirting. flirting. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's very important too flirting. It's fundamental I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you have a very typical cappuccino from this town. Alright. And I have the espresso right. and it's a poor Arabic coffee. 
and the highest quality you can get. And I always drink it without sugar because and without milk because the full taste you get like this, the aroma. Yes, it's not only you drink a cup of coffee, no, it's very special. Yes, uh, it's distinguished from the other places. You have right. a, a great, great richness and you will discover it in this town. You can follow the traces of coffee, you can follow the traces of these historically important places also, where history has been written, but also great novels. Right. So, Gentina, do you like the coffee? Wonderful coffee. And I hope that you will discover this wonderful place, this wonderful town, unique town, and you will come back and bring a lot of people and you will enjoy your stay and I am very, very glad that I could meet you. Thank you very much and it is likewise. Thank it's you. very honored to be here with you and uh, to have this uh, interview and hope we see each other very soon back in Trieste. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. And just down the street is another famous and historic cafe of Trieste, the Café San Marco. Since its opening in 1914, the Café San Marco has had a dramatic history. At one point, secretly housing a factory for the production of fake passports for anti-Austrian patriots fleeing Italy. And for this, it was destroyed by an Austrian squad in 1915. The San Marco Café, rebuilt in the 1920s, has been a constant meeting place for many intellectuals and authors, like Italo Svevo and James Joyce. Buongiorno! Grazie! Today I am in Trieste, Italy, in the San Marco Café, one of the famous cafés in Trieste. Here, a long time ago, writers, poets and very famous people socialized here. And a special uh, Henri Marie Rilke, Italo Svevo, and James Joyce were very famous people for that time and they were all coming together in this famous cafe San Marco in Trieste. It was the book Senility written by Svevo which in a film later produced of the same name featured scenes of Cafe San Marco. And it was here, at the San Marco, that reportedly James Joyce was initially inspired to write Ulysses. But the tradition of coffee in Trieste runs deep. Starting at least from 1719, when Trieste, then a city which was part of the Habsburg Empire, was declared by the cunning Charles VI of Austria to be a tax-free and duty-free city. Suddenly, Trieste became one of the world's most favorite ports and the coffee industry took root to what has now become the leading coffee port in the Mediterranean, becoming today the supplier of more than 40% of Italy's coffee. And while espresso was invented by the Italians, it was a Hungarian by the name of Francesco Illi who invented the first automatic espresso machine in 1935. Right here, in Trieste, 
and where the Ili headquarters are still located today. And so what carries on today in Trieste is a deep-seated passion and expertise that rivals the world on the subject of the luxurious coffee. Romantically nestled on the corner of the winding hilly street Via Comici sits one of the most unique restaurants in all of Italy, known as the Antica Trattoria Suban, or in a rough English translation, this might be the ancient tavern of Suban. Originally founded in 1865 by Giovanni Suban after winning the Royal Lottery in Vienna, today the Antica Trattoria Suban is run by the Peter Familias, Mario Suban, fourth generation of the same family. It is a restaurant of simple Italian elegance, with a dedicated staff and proud cuisine. Often with Mario Suban at your table side, speaking fluently several languages, taking your orders for its lengthy and skillful Central European cuisine with local and modern influences. And it is here that you may sample the most exquisite local wines and experience such wonderful dishes as truffle fondue, veal shank, ham in pastry, or risotto alle erbe casso, which is a risotto with herbs from the local casso area, a unique high plain built mainly of limestone. With Mario Suban's leadership since the 1950s, its fame has exceeded the boundaries of Italy, whether involving itself with international culinary reviews or becoming a cherished gastronomical retreat for peoples of all walks of life, such as the national soccer team, the Pope, Italian presidents, Nobel Prize winners or world champion boxers. And now you yourself will experience a special visit with John Tina into the heart of the Suban, managed by Mario's lovely daughter Federica, with always the careful attention of Mario himself not too far away and then experience some fabulous dishes unique to the Suban and the area of Trieste presented by none other than Mr. Mario Suban himself. Welcome to Antica Trattoria Suban, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Allora andiamo adesso uh, verso le cucine. Innanzitutto right. uh, ci fermiamo qui che c'è la griglia dove sono tutte queste specialità non dai, dai galletti disossati, eh, le, le costolettine di agnello, quella è anche eh, la steak americana, vede che c'è anche americana. americana qua, no? Questa invece è la parte della cucina dove la, la figlia, che è la manager qua, eh, prego. Okay. Grazie. Prego. Nice to meet you. Well, thank and, you uh, and welcome in our kitchen. Thank you very much. This is roast ham, bread, with horseradish okay. and now so it looks like bread but it's yeah. ham inside mm -hmm. it's cooked in oven 
it's cooked in the no. oven for Here, three hours. Your name, your and, name uh, and the birth of restaurant, 1865. 1865. <laughs> yeah. And now, this is palacinka, our special dish uh, made uh, with basil and uh, we created this plate for Pope Johannes Paul II. Really? That's interesting. And now Don't another, <laughs> another dish. It's all about it. looks chicken, but it is... No, this is a veal, a roast veal. shank of veal, made in oven for three, four hours, uh, slowly, slowly. Okay. And our it's typical, typical uh, recipe uh, of Trieste. Okay, is this with onion and all onion, kinds of carrots, carrots and uh, rosemary and uh, white uh, wine? Fantastic! It looks very good. It looks, uh, it's big. It's perfect. <laughs> it is for a person. Of four persons. Wonderful. And now, this is a soup. Typical. Triestina soup, Iota, called Iota. Iota. And this is uh, um, in its ingredients beans, sauerkraut, sausages, garlic, fennel, potatoes, and olive oil. And now I propose to you to come to taste our specialities. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Questo è un prosciutto cotto tipico triestino, viene cotto nel pane con tutte le sue erbe, dal rosmarino, timo eccetera eccetera, ci vuole 3-4 ore, una volta tagliato, messo sul piatto, viene servito con questo horse radish, che è una specialità. Ecco, prego, si vuole assaggiare. Il Trieste, yes. Like. Thank you very much. Okay. Grazie. Ecco, questa è invece una zuppa triestina di crauti, patate e fagioli con pezzettini di maiale. Anche eh, questo lo usiamo, abbiamo anche delle altre, ma questa è proprio di vecchie, vecchie tradizioni. Grazie. Yes. Di suo gradimento? Sì. è una zuppa it, yeah. anche forse un po' difficile perché c'ha i crauti, le patate, oh, forse a certi non piace questo, no? Yes, yes, yes. it's fantastic. Grazie. Fantastic. Mm, mm -hmm. Che si abbina molto bene con il piatto che arriva adesso. Is okay. this also typical wine from wine. Trieste? Eh, friuli, this, friuli. <coughs> like wonderful. Yes. wonderful very okay. full red wine tante grazie grazie questo invece è un piatto proprio suban firmato e la palacinca la mandriera palacinca è una crepe eh, con il basilico quando ho rappresentato la cucina italiana triestina in america ha avuto molto successo in questi alberghi veramente semplice ma buono prego <ride> Grazie Dado, ecco adesso facciamo assaggiare quest'altra specialità che come si dice in inglese, in americano, apple, apple strudel, no, apple, strudel. Apple, apple strudel, please, <ride> please, ok, buon appetito così. <ride> Very good. Ecco così. Ecco, questa eh, è la nostra cucina triestina mm -hmm. da 145 anni, da grande bisnonno, mio nonno, il, quinto, eh, il quarto della generazione, la Federica che ha visto in cucina e poi c'è la piccola sei generazioni. Grazie per eh, venuta a trovarci e spero che è andato tutto bene. Grazie. Grazie. Grazie.